All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different, is um, we're gonna do a live video on the Mac Tools truck today, just for you guys. I know it's kind of early. One of the reasons why I'm doing this today is because we got some people in for the meetup already, and I really don't wanna mess with editing any videos, and I figured this would give you guys a chance to come in here and enjoy what it's like to go on a Mac truck. If you got any questions, we'll take care of those as well. So let's go. So here's what the steps look like on a Mack truck for you guys that's never been on one. <laughs> steps. <laughs> and there's the man himself. Good morning. Are you ready for this weekend? It's going to be a long weekend. The good news is it's a lot cooler this weekend Absolutely. than had been predicted. So it's going to be nice. It, uh, last year was freaking hot yeah bad so well i noticed you had a new tool on the truck this week what's going on guys <laughs> for those of y'all that don't know this is justin atv he's from the knoxville tennessee area and uh old school og youtuber yes he's been around as uh one of the original blue wrenches a long time that's right About six years better yeah a long time well somebody says when will the rbrt pieces be back in well today macco i mean uh mac daddy michael has got a got a load of stuff and this weekend he's got a really special treat for anybody buying rbrt stuff he's gonna give away a free rbr t-shirt with the purchase of any RBRT stuff, so can't really beat that. So come on out, buy it up, and get you some t-shirts. That's it. Cool, cool, cool. I know a lot of people has asked about these sets, and I don't know why they don't put the part numbers on them. Uh, on the back, I believe they are. But we had showed these on video before, and everybody liked them. Oh, there we go. And there's some different ones. You seen these? These are super cool. They come in metric sets, and they come in standard sets, I believe. Ain't that nice? It's cool, ain't it? Yes. Well, it's great to have around the house in the fall. And those are on sale in the flyer this time, ain't they? I think so. Um, like they give you two different swivel or uh, extensions, a swivel. Yeah, you know, most of them usually just get a ratchet, mm -hmm. a few sockets, and maybe one little strip of bits. Got That's them. even got some trickle squares in there. And magic here's the magic set or standard set. They don't put magic and standard in one. That's the standard set. And what's the the only difference between these is the color of the case, right? Yeah. The orange or the green. Yeah, I was thinking they was uh, on sale in there. Yeah, one ninety nine, and you get uh, that nice pen light. Mm -hmm. So pretty good deal. And uh, anybody's gonna be here this weekend. I still got good stock on the bit sets too. So cool. You get the forty two piece eight inch bit sets free when you buy the quarter inch bit set. Yep. That's a good deal. And do you have any 121 piece RBRT sets on here? I do. Because in my opinion, that is the best bit set. I got two on the truck and I got some more at the shop for this weekend. That's made. Let me open one of these up. Let's open that up. Because some people may not have seen that, but that is definitely. What's up, Charles? For you guys that don't know, Charles just left a comment. He's the one that made that super awesome wallet that I showed on my Instagram. All right, so in my opinion, this is the most coverage you'll get from any bit set on earth. <clears throat> and then what's cool about this, all of the gray bits are RBRT bits. All the black bits are the standard Mac bits themselves, but the gray bits have RBRT technology built in it. 
as you can see by the hex here, how they're shaped. So all of the gray ones are RBRT and I got Robertson bits, you know, security torques. I mean, security hex, I mean, triple squares or balls. This is a very good set. And the screwdriver is freaking awesome. That is, I, I don't know how many of these I sell on a regular basis. That is one of the best scratching screwdrivers. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Really nice. And it comes with the T-handle. So you can put a bit in each end. As well as, even though they're not impact sockets, they do come with uh, the adapter to put it in your bit driver. Bit driver. So. Is Michael going to have his dancing shoes on Saturday? I don't know about all that now. He, he may not... He may not realize it, but he'll have them on. We just got to put enough of that liquid courage mint down his throat. That's about the only way I find a pair of <laughs> I think he'll definitely have some peer pressure this year, don't you? Yeah, yeah and that's about the only way I'll dance. Uh, <laughs> liquid encouragement. Well, see, what y'all have, y'all don't know yet. I got something really cool coming in. It won't be in until tomorrow evening, so I got to figure out how to get it installed pretty quickly, but... Scary. It's gonna be neat. Y'all just wait. I'm telling you, we we're gonna get better every year. As long as Kim Longa is here in karaoke's I'm a Barbie girl again, I will oh, dance yeah. all night. Well what's cool is this year I've got two of those monsters set up and I've got it wired into my stereo. So nice. it'll be like ten thousand times louder than last year. Oh, God. So any of that. Filet knife, huh? Yeah, nice. Honey. Everybody liked the knife that they did, regular folding knife they did. They have come out with filet knives as well. Nice. So, real flexible. They're doing a six inch and a nine inch. That's going to be the part number for them. There. SC60 filet knife. Mm hmm. Let me see that thing. Got a nice grip to it. It does. Like, when I hold a fillet knife, this is how I judge it. Like, go down behind the fin, down the backbone. I never move my knife. I flip it over and then down the skin. Mm -hmm. Like, crappie. This is crappie. They they have nightmares of that in their, in their dreams. It, uh, but they have no idea how tasty they are. Your average crappie, you know, you'd probably be good with that. But, I mean, if you come down here to Mississippi and go to Sardis, you might need oh, to go yeah. up to the 9-inch. Yeah, that's get across some of those, yeah. those crappie. Yeah, because, I mean, you're getting two-and-a-half-pound crappie. And that looks like a 12-pound fish if you ain't never... Like, there ain't many people that's caught a two-and-a-half-pound crappie. But they look like a 20-pound a bass. Two-and-a-half, three-pound crappie is the average fish down there. So... Part number on the 121 piece set. That is right there. SBDR 121 RBRT. And, and then I wants the nine inch. That's the nine inch one. And it is SC90 fillet knife. And the part number on that oil drain you showed a few weeks ago. Uh, da, 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 da. OD80L, I believe is the number on it. Look at that, boys. Y'all see how quick that was? That's a man that knows his Mac tools right there. Because I'm pretty sure it's oil drain 80 liters is pretty much what it stands for. So There you go. Well, how many of the DeWalt impact sets do you have with... Uh, the Womble Sockets. Should have four or five. Cool. Because I know I had a couple people said that's what they was in the hunt for. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you might have to have a wheelbarrow towed all your money back. And I don't know if people know or not, but they're also, I believe, I was looking at some stuff the other day, they're, they're going to do that same gun and with a half inch anvil. Oh, be nice. That so. will definitely be a good... You know, because there's a lot of people walking away from Milwaukee because of the battery issues, so. That'll give them a good fighting chance, you know. Well, that and I don't think I have one open. Uh, let's see, where did we put them? Oh, yeah, I 
What's a good fuel line removal kit that the Mack truck has? Look how quick he is on this stuff. That's a good set too. I'm pretty sure like every company has the exact same kit. It's probably made, all made by law. But like I say, you know, you buy it off the tool truck because the guy comes to you. And then when you break one of these, because you will, they'll break. You'll definitely break. Guaranteed you'll break one. And then this one, you'll end up throwing it across the parking lot. And somebody will step on it and it'll warp the hinge. Because that will happen. I promise you. Those two things are guaranteed. Are they not? Guaranteed yes. to happen. And that's the little set. There's, I also have a master disconnect set up there as well. But there is your part number. MD4000. But that's nice. Like I bought all mine individually. So I just got the one plastic rail here and a plastic rail here. And this is loose in my box. And you can't ever find it when you need it. Like I wish I'd have got the kit. That way it'd all be together. Uh, It'd probably be cheaper me just to order the box. You don't see many tool trucks carry around a full set of three quarter inch drive sockets. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, and what DeWalt has started doing is on this new impact stuff, they come out with these batteries to go sell with them. Um, previously, a lot of your DeWalt batteries, if you went to wipe them down with brake cleaner or got oil on them, they would gradually break down, come apart, discolor. Mm -hmm. um, these are new oil resistant batteries cool so instead of being a hard plastic they got a rubber texture to the bottom of them mm -hmm. uh, for non-skin or drop it you know help if you were to drop it a little bit uh, just to make more like the Mac batteries uh, that have, was already using the, that technology so See, I hear a lot of people, they're always complaining. All oh, those Mac impacts are just red DeWalt's. Like, yeah. we've covered it a bunch. Like, they're not. They're, it's a different... Let's say the housing was different, right? It was a different oil-resistant, chemical-resistant yeah. coating that goes in. But you got to think of it this way, guys. If you owned DeWalt and you own Mac you would do the exact same thing that Stanley Black & Decker is doing. I would if I owned the company, right? Like, well, I would want to put materials. right, put my money back in my own company. Right. And um, <clears throat> there is some difference in them. I think there was some difference, too, around the cooling fan vents and stuff like that, right? There is. They're, uh, the Mac stuff sealed ports, you know, that we're going to get in debris and, uh, I guess, flammable materials in them or mm -hmm. anything like that. Um and then just what what they're made up of. I mean, yeah. you know, you can take a a Dewalt or a Milwaukee or any of them that, and you're using it all in grease all day every day. The rubber grips are going to they're going to break down. Yeah, they will. Uh, versus what the Max made out of compared to the Dewalt is the oil resistant chemical compound stuff that you don't have to worry about. Mm -hmm. Let me say that little quarter inch bit driver. And for you guys, screw gun or bit driver? the one that's so strong that we tested. I think it was a bit driver. Yeah, I don't have one of those open up here, but that's pretty much identical to it. Have you ever felt how light those yes. are? Like, we did the test on the screw gun. Wasn't it the screw gun? Well, one that's we the screw gun, but we did the test on this one. Here it is. Right here is the part number on it. And this thing claims it would do 180 foot pounds. And when you hold it, it weighs two pounds. I think it's 200 it, foot pounds. Yeah, 200 foot pounds. Don't it tell the weight right here? 1.77 pounds. And when Michael handed it to me, I said, Ain't no way. There ain't no way that gun will do that. So what do we do? We go in the shop and we put it to the test. And it did like 220 or something, wasn't it? 230. I mean, it was shocking and it don't I mean, weigh nothing to weld studs into the back of yeah. a brake rotor to get them to hold well we couldn't even do it with the studs remember we had to use grade bolts. eight bolts yeah because it was stripping the stripping the lug nuts out and the little gun just kept on and getting it that's one of those of told my woman one day i will have one of those yeah I, man that little old bit driver it's a light like i've used this i still use the seven two 
snap on because it's so little and light, you know. And when it finally gives up the goat, the other one's nice about that the, the small compact, yeah, the little the, bitty the, ones, the whole compact everything. Mm -hmm. It's great for under hood work, under dash work, just all around. I mean, why, why hold a five amp hour battery in the, mm -hmm. the big hex impacts? You're yeah, for us, your hands out for a screw that's like three, four foot pounds, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, something like that right there. Somebody asked, are you going to have any toolbox specials? Uh, I have a couple. Uh, some rail carts and whatnot. And little service trays I'm going to have and things like that too. So. Well, are you going to tell everybody about your other special deal you're doing with the kiddos? This is cool. If y'all remember. If you don't want to tell it, you can wait till Saturday. That's fine. Everybody can watch it on live stream. Okay. Down. Okay. It's up to you. Um, <clears throat> Saturday, we, if y'all remember at Christmas, we had one of the right on razor slingshot looking power wheels. Mm -hmm. So cool too. I'm going to have one for sale. And then I'm also going to have one that for every hundred dollars you spend on the truck, you get a ticket to enter into a drawing on the second one that we'll have here. There you go. So, so for every hundred you spend on the truck, you get a raffle ticket to win the slingshot power wheels. There you go. And if you buy the first power wheels, you'll get a ticket to win the second one. <laughs> you can ride one while one's yeah. charging. <laughs> <laughs> and putting these things together this weekend, they have a Bluetooth radio in them. Or you can plug auxiliary into them. Mm -hmm. Just the volume up and down, the whole nine. Steering wheel buttons will change the station on your phone, everything. I was like, are you freaking kidding That's me? the way Caroline's little Maserati car we got yeah. her in. And it will jam, dude. It's got a good little radio in it. So, I was like, man, this had a better radio in it than the 80s Chevrolet trucks. <laughs> I mean, I was blown away by them. So. The part number on the vice grips, here they are. Or maybe they got them on here somewhere. M-L- P F R T N W R and the needle nose ones. Well, that's not the the news. Oh, this ain't the, the new ones. ones. Well, y'all don't want to see them, man. Here's a different set. M L P F R T N C R. These things are awesome. Yeah. You play with any of them? Mm. They're nice. No, I don't have the make dealer. Really nice. Oh, here's the whole kabang. So there's what they look like. Or getting a pry bar to open them up, you know. So there's the one that I showed here. Yeah, those are awesome, awesome, awesome. That's a good deal on that right there, too. And I've got some metric sets left on a bill that will be here Saturday. So, if you guys are looking to do that, it's hard to beat that. You get a free extension set, too. Locking extension set. Mm -hmm. Which is the only extensions to get. Yes. The only ones. Well... I'm definitely looking forward to uh, Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I think uh, everybody's going to enjoy it a whole lot. So that gives you guys a little preview here of what all's on the Mack truck. Let me just go down here because I know we've showed it a couple times on videos. But I want y'all to just look at his ceiling. Like it's a wonder that this thing ain't collapsed. Cause I don't know of any other tool truck that's this loaded. Like we're halfway there guys. Hang on. <laughs> like when you have to t stop and take a beer break between walking your ceiling, <laughs> you know, you got a lot of stuff, but this will give you a guys a little preview and that way you'll know where to go during the rush to grab what you want. Michael said, just bring a pocket full of money. Absolutely. 
he will lighten your load. He will lighten your load and then rapidly increase your load. And drop your MPG going home. <laughs> That's right. Well, all right, guys. Hopefully, y'all had a good one. Uh, this first time we've ever done a live video. We got 157 people in here, which is pretty impressive at 8.50 in the morning. So, y'all be sure to hit that thumbs up because, you know, it don't cost anything to hit a thumbs up. If it did, I'd still do it anyway, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, me and Justin is going to finish our private little shopping spree here. And uh, we will see you guys later. Like always, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're not. You know all the good stuff. You guys have a great weekend, and we will see y'all. Bye.